Good afternoon. So this afternoon we'll be looking at the nomenclature of organic compound. Now how do we know the nomenclature of organic compound? Normally, as far as ETME is concerned, the major part of the question used to be from organic chemistry. Now, and the nomenclature of the organic chemistry aspect is one of the easiest parts of chemistry that we should avoid to miss. Now, we have this set of questions to want to solve this afternoon. Now, the first question we are given, we have CH3 with another CH3 in this place. Now, if you look at the resolution of this compound very well, everything is a single bond. Definitely, automatically telling us that it belongs to the homologous series of the alkane because everything is a single bond. Now, we have determined the functional group that it is what alkane. Now, we need to determine also our number of carbon that is present in this place to know the longest carbon chain known as the water pavement chain. And also we need to determine the number of substituent that is attached. Now, if naming the organic compound, after counting our longest carbon chain, the next thing we need to take note is that the point of attachment where we have the smallest substituent of carbon. Now, if I start, now look at this place here. I have CH3. This CH3 is bonding to another CH, let's say this CH, and this CH is having a CH3 at the end. There we have CH2, we have CH2, and we have CH3. Now, if we are to look at it now, it's easier for me to start my counting from this place. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But if I start my counting from this plane, it shows that I'm having a substituent on carbon number four. Now, if I take my counting from this place, one, two, it shows that the, well, the substituent is attaching to carbon number two, in which in taking the number of substituents, we need to take the smallest number of substituents. Now, my longest carbon chain is one, two, three, four, five. That serves as what? Pent. Now, because we are dealing with what pent alkane group, it's going to be what pentane. Now, what is the name of the substituent we have on carbon 2? We have a substituent known as methyl. Now, on what carbon do we have our substituent methyl? It is on carbon 2. So, we need to say that 2 methyl and the longest carbon chain here is pentane 5. Now, we need to take note that between a number and an alphabet, we use the word of dash. But between a number and a number, we use comma, like 2, 2. So our answer to the first question is 2 methyl pentane. Now, coming to the second nomenclature, we have that our longest carbon chain here, we can start counting from here 1, 2, 3, 4. I can start counting from this place, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, the rule is that we need to take note. Where is the substituent having the smallest attachment? Now, our longest carbon chain is this place, is 1, 2, 3, 4, telling us that it is what? Boot. Now, because we are having everything is a single bond, we, it's telling us that is a family of alkane, making this one to be what? Butane. Now, if you look, we have our substituent on carbon, two and two when we are counting from this plane but if you are counting coming from the wall right hand side towards the left we have it to be what three and three but we need to take the smallest known as well two and two now if i'm to name this one now because our substituent is attaching on carbon two and two i'm going to have two comma two now what is the name of the substituent here we have bro that is bromine. Now, because they are belonging to the allergies group, their bromine will now be changing to what? Allergies will now become allo. So, in this place, we have 2,2. Two, two. We have 2,2. Two, two. Di, bromo. Our longest combustion is what? Butane. So, we have it to be 2,2. Two, two, Di, bromo, butane. Now, to the third question, 
we have carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four, carbon five, carbon six. Now it is obvious in this place that our longest carbon chain is cis carbon. But in this place we have the presence of double bond. Now in which it has transformed from alkane to alkene. Now, that because alkene have superiority more than the word alkene. Now, if I'm to name my alkene, alkene in this place, I have to look at where is the smallest substituent of that my alkene compound. I have it, if I'm coming from this place, I have it on carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4. It is after carbon 4. But here I have it on carbon 1, carbon 2. It is after carbon 2. Definitely, I'm going to start my counting from this place. Now, if I'm starting my counting from this place, I'm going to have carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4, carbon 5. I'm now having a substituent on carbon 5. What is the name of that substituent? It is what? Methane. On what carbon is it attaching to carbon 5? We have it to be 5 methane. Our longest carbon chain is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, because it is 6 carbon, I can name this that 5-methane X2A. Why is it X2A? X is for 6 carbon. This 2 here is serving as that our double bond is after the second carbon. Or I can say 5-methane 2-exene. 2-exene. That is, it's still pointing that the word, the double bond is after carbon number 2. So the name of this compound, anyone you see in the word in the option, is either 5-methane X2A or 5-methane 2-exene. Both of them are correct. Now, coming to question number 4. We can say that question 1 and number 2 are single carbon. Question number three is a double carbon, telling us is what? Alkene. Our question number four is a triple carbon. Now we have transformed into what we know as alkyne. Because whenever we see triple bond, it is serving as a functional group of alkyne. Now, how many carbon do we have in this place? We have carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four. If I'm coming from this place, carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four. If you look, Coming from the right, the triple bond is after second carbon. Coming from the left, it is after second carbon. Now, what are we going to name? Our longest carbon chain is what? One, two, three, four. That is boot. Now, on what carbon am I having my triple bond? That is carbon number two. I can say boot two I or I say two butyne. So this is the naming for what for this compound. Now we come to question number five. Now, these are the type of question the UTM is going to want to treat your brain with. How do we do this? Because of its nature of this. We have CH3, one. We have CH2, we have CH2, we have C, I have H, and I have OH, yeah. I have C. Now, look at this carbon, it's bonding to DC. And DC is bonding to 3CH3. You are not going to say 3CH3. This is one of it. This is two. And this is the word, the last one, making three. Now, from here, we can establish our longest carbon chain. Now, our longest carbon chain, I can say carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four, carbon five, carbon six. My longest carbon chain is what? Six. If I name one, two, three, four, five, six, anyhow you want to what to name, the longest carbon chain is going to be what with six. We now have OH in this place. Now, this OH here, it is telling us that this thing here, it is belonging to the family of alkanol because everything here is single bond and alkanol is more superior to the alkane. Recall I told us that well, our single bond is what is alkane. But when we are now having OH, it is under the family of alcohol. And that alcohol is superior to the water to the alkane. Now, on what carbon are we having this our alcohol, alkanol, OH? It is on carbon number three. Now, any other thing apart from our longest carbon chain is now going to serve as a substituent. What do we have here? Carbon one, carbon two, three, four, five, six. Now we are now having a substituent of carbon two. That is methyl methyl. 
methyl or carbon 2 and what? 2. Remember, we can start naming from this place, but if you start your naming from this place, you are going to have carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4, carbon 5. The methyl are going to build on 5 and 5. But now consider 5 and 5 and 2 and 2. Which of them is smaller? It is 2 and 2. So we are going to say 2 comma 2 dimethyl. On what carbon are we having our OH? Carbon 3. We can say 3 hexanol. We say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can say 3 hexanol. Or we can say 2 comma 2 dimethyl. Exan, exan 3 or oh. why is this 3 here? Because our OH is on carbon number 3. 3 hexanol, it means that what the OH is on carbon number 3. Now, let's dive a little bit now. There are some questions they are going to ask that what type of alcohol is this? Now, you should take note that there are classification of alcohol. We have first degree alcohol, second degree, and third degree alcohol. How am I going to know first degree alcohol? We have how CH2, that is H, H, and what? OH. Second degree, we have how? We have CH. Our second degree, how? We have CH. We have OH. We have what? How? If you look at the first degree, we have one acid group. The second degree, we have two acid group. In the fourth degree, we have two hydrogen that is attached to the carbon that bears the hydroxyl group. That is two hydrogen, one and two. In the second degree, we have one hydrogen that is attached to the carbon that bears the word hydroxyl group. And the acid group is how many? Two. Now, in the third degree, I have how? I have how? I have how? I have what? O A. There will be no hydrogen that will be attached to the carbon that bears to the carbon that bears the wall hydrogen group. Now you can see we have R1, R prime, and then we have what R? We have three R in the tertiary degree, no hydrogen. We have two R in the secondary degree, one hydrogen, and in the primary degree, we have one R and what two hydrogen that is attached to the carbon that bears the hydrogen group. A question can come under this also that say which of the following is primary degree, secondary degree, or tertiary degree. So our naming of this compound is 2 2 dimethyl exam 3 or Now, question number six. We have since we say double bond there, definitely it belongs to the family of alkene. Now, we need to take note of our longest carbon chain in this place. Now, if I'm to take note of my longest carbon chain, I can go as what? Carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4. Remember, I told you that alkene, alkene is more superior to our alkene. Now, how do we name this? Look at this place here. You can join these two together. How many carbon do we have here? C2. H2 and H3 will give me what? H5. This is what we call a team. If I want to name it, I can say start my carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4. Now, if I'm to name this now, what am I going to say? I have a substituent on carbon 2. What is the name of that substituent? A team. Now, I have double bond after carbon 1. Look at it. As you are coming like this, that is where you are going to place your numbering of the double bond. It is after carbon 1. So, this place now, carbon 1, carbon 2, it is going to be 2 ethyl. I cannot say 1 butene. 1 butene or 2 ethyl. 2 ethyl but 1 A. So, any of them is what is correct depending on the nature of the option that is being given. Now, we come to this place. We have OH, OH, OH. Automatically, this is what? An alkanol. And I have carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3. You can see the OH is attached to the 3 carbon. This is an example of what we call trihydric alcohol. Trihydric alcohol or polyhydric alcohol because the OH is more than 1 and 2. Now, our carbon in this place is 1, 2, 3. That is 3. We first have the probe. Now, we now have OH on carbon 1, carbon 2, and carbon 3. So it's going to be propan 
1, 2, 3, we have try all. You can see propane 1, 2, 3, try all. Why is it 1, 2, 3? Because the OH is attached on carbon 1, carbon 2, and carbon 3. That's why we say propane 1, 2, 3, try all. Now, otherwise, no. They say in equation, don't be carried away. This propane 1, 2, 3, try all is otherwise known as what we call glycerol. But in the question in the UTME, they ask for the IUPAC word name. And in the option, they also put glycerol. Glycerol is the general name. Why the IUPAC name is propane 1, 2, 3, try all. Now, we come to the last question on this segment. We have CH3. We have two CH3 that is attached to this carbon. Let's say this is the word, the C. We have the second CH3, we have this word, H. Now, look at this. CH3 is how many? Two. This is one of it, and this is the second one. It's not attaching to this carbon. This is the carbon, and it's not attaching C to what? H. This is the H. We now have again C. We have CH3, we have H. Now, you see, it's not bonded to C. Double bond to O, single bond to OH. Now we need to take note. This has moved from a family of alkane, 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 or alcohol. Whenever we have R, C, double bond to O, single bond to OH, it has become the family of alkanoic what? Acid or carboxylic, carboxylic acid. Now, in this now, we need to know our longest carbon chain. Our longest carbon chain in this place, carbon 1. Now, when you are naming, you have to take note. Where is the functional group starting from? Carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4. Now, our longest carbon chain is 4 carbon. Now, we now have a substituent of carbon 2 and carbon 3. And what is that substituent? It is what? Methyl. So, it is going to be 2, 3 dimethyl. The functional group that we are talking about is what? Alkanoic. So, 2, 3 dimethyl. Our longest carbon chain, 1, 2, 3, 4, it is called butanoic acid. Butanoic what? Acid. 2, 3 dimethyl butanoic what? Acid. So, this is what the rules of naming some organic structure as picked from the UTMA first question. Thank you very much.